With the seventh pick in the 2020 NBA Draft, the Detroit Pistons select Killian Hayes from Lakeland, Florida. Yeah! The most recent news of Killian Hayes' release by arguably one of the worst teams in modern history says a lot about him. The Detroit Pistons, who are currently 7-43, and who were previously on a 28-game losing streak, one of the longest in NBA history. Hayes, Detroit's former top pick, was supposed to stop the losing in the town, but has become part of the problem. Hayes, born in Lakeland, Florida, to a professional basketball-playing father, quickly moved to France, where he got the rigid basketball education of the European system. At age 16, he began his professional career with a French club and, after two seasons, signed with Ratio Farm in the Basketball Bundesliga League, which is the top league in Germany. Running the point at 6'5 and 210 pounds, Hayes devoured competition with his ability to create for teammates and proficiency in isolation scoring. With great size and a ball-dominant offensive style, he earned the reputation as German League James Harden, some lofty praise that speaks to his scoring acumen. Hayes gotten the same attention as some of the other names at the top of his draft, but he was the guy everyone thought had the potential to end up being the star of the class. During Killian's tenure overseas, he scored a whopping 7.4 points per game on a 45 shooting percentage with a three-point percentage of 27. The signs early on were there, but the Pistons took a shot at Hayes by drafting him in 2020 with the seventh overall pick. Entering Hayes' rookie season, there wasn't much to be expected. Rookies are almost always universally bad. Young players need time to develop, learn the speed of the NBA game, and figure out how to be effective on the floor. They need time to get better, stronger, and faster. The young Detroit Pistons point guard has battled injuries and ineffectiveness throughout his first few years. Throughout his career, Killian has averaged 8.1 points per game, 38 field goal percentage, and 27 from three. To put it simply, Killian Hayes is a bad basketball player. This is an objective fact. Subjectivity gets introduced when trying to figure out if he's gonna be that way forever. If you tell a Pistons fan Killian Hayes is bad, they often get defensive. He's a terrible shooter. The stats speak for themselves. With Cade and Jaden on the team, his playing time has diminished and playing those guys over him highlighted how bad Hayes was. The offense moved better and flowed like an NBA team. Hayes' inability to shoot affected his ability to play pick and roll basketball, which is fundamental in the NBA. This season alone, Hayes has averaged 24 minutes a game, which is a lot for a player in the NBA. With 6.8 points per game, 41 field goal percent, and 29% from three, his other stats aren't good either, with 2.8 rebounds per game and 4.9 assists per game. He is so bad that instead of stashing Hayes on Detroit's G League team and having him possibly develop into someone who can help them win in the future, the team elected to waive him altogether and wants nothing to do with him going forward. Again, this is one of the worst teams in the NBA with nothing but time to use on young players and allow them to develop. After four NBA seasons, it's clear that Hayes may potentially be playing overseas again. But the fundamental truth was that Hayes was not just badly unthreatening as an offensive player. He was one of the worst, most damaging scorers in the NBA. Hayes ends his tenure as one of 16 players since 1979 to amass more than 5,000 minutes and have a true shooting percentage of less than 46. If Hayes had just managed to be a below average scorer instead of among the league's worst to ever do it for big minutes, he'd be looking at a likely extension from the Pistons and a pathway toward a career that could last 10 years at least. Let me know what you think about Hayes. Do you think he will get another shot in the NBA?